Well, I think Shut that was window. enough silence. I think that's fine. Okay. I, I love how you said you need silence. Dogs immediately start barking. Hey, Why couldn't everyone. the falcon come back? Hey, everyone. Oh, God. Welcome to our podcast. This is Scott. This is Max. This is Sammy. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, just so you know, as soon as we started recording, we were saying that, uh, hey, we need silence to get rid of the buzzing, and then the dog started barking outside. Um, uh, to start this off, should we talk about your woodpecker incident? I missed the woodpecker. That happened in the video, didn't it? Yeah, I think I think we have. That. Yeah. Maybe. Oh know. no, that happened during the AVP one. Like, yeah, all that video's it. gone. So there was a woodpecker Scott was having an issue with. It was here for like two weeks, waking me up at 6 a.m., and I don't get home till like 2. And Scott was talking about it, and as soon as, like,. He was like, and there that fucker is, as we hear something land on the gutter, we hear a falcon scream, and I see a fucking hawk dive past his window. <laughs> on that note, I haven't heard it since. <laughs> so, we assume Scott has a falcon guardian angel or familiar or something? <laughs> you know too much. <laughs> I just, I've been waiting for the day that I hear a tap, tap, tap on my door, and I open it, and there is a falcon with a letter for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you are cordially invited to Scott's room to play video games. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna try I, to pick your eyes out because I haven't untrained that part yet. I I really wish I could make an eagle scream. Uh, it's a hard it's a hard no to match. Um, so <laughs> I don't like this subject. Uh, did, we, did we introduce Sammy this time? I we did. Yeah. I, not very, not I think, very well, though. I think she's going to be a podcast regular. Um, all right, uh, she's time. also going to be a Monster Hunter regular for you guys who watch us. We're going to be playing Monster Hunter once we get shit figured out. I don't care about that. How do you guys feel about Morse cunt panties? <laughs> <laughs> and then viewers at home, guess which word made Sammy cringe? A hundred theoretical points if you can get it. <laughs> I love that they're theoretical, not just brownie points. No, not, since I love you since points, we're doing theoretical, like, theoretical points, points, just five hundred thousand theoretical points if you can. I don't know. Guess how many hairs I have on my face. The answer is moist. <laughs> also, I'm angry because I'm twenty and I'm already graying. I like it though. It's Dude, I have gray too, don't worry. Like. You just have my hearing beard. <laughs> sometimes life hates you, and then you become gray. Uh, People just assume you're old and should be respected. Can my first days. day at work, someone thought I was 30. <laughs> <laughs> someone thought I, one of my coworkers thought I was like 22. And thought Darren, who's a year younger than me, was two years older than me. Oh. So, um. So yeah, uh, words we hate, which I will also fit another, uh, any word can sound derogatory. This came up because of talking about the movie Mad Max, which will be another tangent. Um, I want Mad Ma I want Mel Gibson to be in the new Mad Max movie, even if it's just a cameo. But I want him to play Mel Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> just like, he's a shop owner and he's like, he's like, yeah, I'd like this. He's like, you know, fucking Jew. <laughs> Oh, Is you? Or he's talking to his wife on the phone. That that always <laughs> <laughs> that always ends well. <laughs> he just calls her the N word out of nowhere. Wait, or no, he didn't call her the N word. That was Charlie Sheen. Yeah. Um, God bless her. No, he said, "I want you to get raped by a pack of." Yeah. Which is much worse, <laughs> in my opinion. But he also said, "You were supposed to blow me before we got in the hot tub." <laughs> what the With fuck? almost that exact tone. That's important. <laughs> Very important. If you get after it, just about to say. I say, Max, please tell me you're not thinking that this is going to be a movie of your life, because that's not happening. No. <laughs> no. I no. have no intention on that. Okay. Um, if, if you play Mel Gibson, I'll play Mel Gibson's wife. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be a, that would be the one thing I'd be okay with. <laughs> that should just be our first live video. Why is everyone okay with that? <laughs> Girlfriends across the nation, if you do anything gay, it better be with Scott. <laughs> then it's allowed. Well, Don't I, even honestly, be mad. Honestly, he's not going to do anything gay with Steven because it scares me a little bit. I feel like Steven could turn him. <laughs> <laughs> but we should do live videos since we do have a camera. I think that should be our first video is an average life in the Gibson household. 
with you and I in it. <laughs> <laughs> and now, we need to share our intro, too. But, um, yeah, does anyone else have any words? Because I really, I, I'm the person who loves, like, pointing out the words people hate, like panties. I'm just going to reinforce cunt. It just rolls <sighs> off the tongue. Oh, it, dude, it's just, it, you have to have, any... like, this French oh, flourish when you say it. Like, fun word to yeah, say. I've told you guys about my clothing company, right? No. Okay, well, it's going to be called uh, Cunt Co. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make t-shirts, and one of the slogans is going to be uh, Embrace the Cunt. But the company slogans where I feel I've really, like, shined. I don't know if I can do better. Cunt Co. We just want to see you in us. <laughs> nice. Is it going to be just like Cut Co. where if your managers do good, they get a broad sword on their wall? Yeah. Or is it just going to be one of those dildos you know, with a I... sword handle? Yes. Yeah. With their name engraved in you it? You know, I actually worked for Cut Co. for a while. Really? That's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, I didn't do well. <laughs> I sold like two sets of knives and was like, well, fuck this, and gave my set to my dad. Oh, you didn't even get to sell the spatula yet? Mm. What is that? Oh, what? That is the most sexual thing I've seen all day. <laughs> I'll forgive you, because that was really? sent to me by my little sister. <laughs> Not even cr- fucking uh, what? can cheese lube. I was lying. Can cheese lube the sake is of worse? Funny. For the sake of being funny. Max needs to remember that <laughs> I could probably kill him. <laughs> That's not exactly. No, no offense to everyone else in the room, uh, everyone else in the room, but I think I put up the best fight. I, I've had, I would. I've had some training. Yeah. I've had relatively some too. Um, probably more than more than the average person. But <laughs> considering my dad teaches Over. fencing. Yeah. I bite and scratch and fight for my life. <laughs> Pocket him and him. Yeah, right in the eyes. <laughs> I give up. I lay down and just take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Protective glasses, motherfucker. I guess that is my thrown weapon of choice now, is a single M&M. And you missed. <laughs> no, I would have got him right in the pupil. It was deflected. I would have got him right in the pupil. <laughs> I was going to actually... <laughs> I was going to laugh, yet slightly feel bad if you had cracked his glasses. <laughs> I would be like it. <laughs> I hope that wasn't for me. Be like no. JD and just walk around like that, look, except have transition lenses. Look at that. Does that look like it was from oh you? Oh, God! <laughs> your, le- your lens fell out. <laughs> you were not paying... <laughs> no! You were not paying attention. I got a text, I'm sorry. Um. Anyway. Um, um, There's actually a long story of how this happened to my glasses, too. We could do stuff we hate, because that one's related to the one... How did you your lens fall out of your glasses? Well... There's a friend of mine, and I went down and stayed with her family in Yuma again after I moved to Shelton because I decided to get the fuck out of Shelton. And that's how I ended up here, so it's all good. It was her birthday. I was dressed up, you know, mind you, dress shirt, bow tie, fedora. Michael, I was fucking dressed up. We're going to pick up our buddy Dale. Dale, if you're listening, Ugh. I fucking hate you, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but we go to his house. I, I say that because he still has, like, my axe and Naginata. Oh, and I want yeah. those. But uh, <laughs> we go to pick him up, and his little brother, like, it's one of those, I grew up in the family, you know, I was there all the time. And he likes to just be a little... <laughs> <laughs> he likes to be a little, uh, to, to bring up uh, our old conversation, a little cunt. Mm-hmm. Right. Basically, he was, like, just trying to get me to flip out. Of <laughs> and finally, he was like, oh, you know, so-and-so was just whoring around while the entire time you were gone, and that's what set me off. Mm-hmm. Well, I put down my hat on the seat, because I was getting in the car, and I walked over, and my buddies say they looked over, and they saw the hat, and they were like, where the hell's Scott? Well, so I decided to cuff him upside the head, teach him some respect. Mm-hmm. Right. I think I've heard this story. Well, his older brother, the one who didn't know me, who just got out of jail... Oh. Besides, that's the time he's going to walk out. So out of nowhere, he just punches me upside the head. The glasses drop. In that second, Dale's getting out to tackle his brother, because I'm in the right, plus he's my bro. Uh, one of our friends has a police baton, and the third friend is going like this to get me to back off. And apparently, the look in my eyes was like, are you stupid enough to try that again? Like, just pure murder? But they get me in the car, we drive off, I realize I forget my glasses. Looking back, we probably ran them over. They were in the driveway all night. They probably got run over a couple times. And I was able to get them back. But yeah, they're all kinds of wonky and twisted and broken. And I need new ones. I've had them since sixth grade. Nice. <laughs> That's fun. actually a really good achievement. Yeah. How many it's... people can say they've been socked for defending a woman's honor? Well, I was thinking more of the, the keeping the glasses. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's it's but... far more present. They were able to keep glasses <laughs> intact for over four years. 
<laughs> I how old do you think he is? No. And I'm just saying, I've never known someone sorry. to have glasses intact for that long. Let alone since you've been I wouldn't out. call them intact. Well. <laughs> yeah, the you just fucking popped out. <laughs> well. It stays in unless I touch it. <laughs> God forbid you touch your glasses. You never touch the glasses. They just stay there all the time. <laughs> I used to wear glasses, and they lasted, like, a month. Um, one of the things I hate with a passion is being called Bud. Oh, I thought you were going to say Jews. No. <laughs> and, then, <therefore, laughs> and therefore, if you, if you, if you, I, I need to have my boss listen to this. One of my bosses, I, so. I just, his name is Ted. Ted, if I get you to listen to this, I, I'm sorry. God, this is so <laughs> gross. I just, when I get called Bud, I just, instant rage. Some, the switch goes off, and I'm just like, Fuck that guy and fuck everything he's ever known. Fuck everything he loves. I fucking hate him. I hope he dies. Come down, bud. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking sucking in the face. If I say that, will you suck me in the face? No. I'll do the fish. I won't do that either. Um uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just something I hate. I, would like I think it. it's because it was uh, I had friends who hung around with this one guy who thought it was okay to yell oil check and try to stick his finger in your ass. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ! And he did this on the street. <laughs> he, I, I hated it. I don't like being touched by people I don't know in general. Let alone the first thing you say to me is oil check as you try to give me a prostate exam. Was it at least only one? Was it like the two finger death it, grip? It, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He a thousand years of death for Narda. He was trying to like fucking a thousand years of pain. Hook me and suplex me over his head. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! He got you with a fish hook. Yeah. <laughs> god damn. Oh. That's fucked. <coughs> Not. Uh. You had something you hate, oh, Scott, yeah. and, and... Do I? Should I bring we made up... this list. Should I bring up something? why I was, like, screaming in bloody terror earlier? It was because I was putting squeeze cheese in my mouth, and it, like, went directly down the center of my lip and almost to my neck. Whatever, it's squeeze cheese. Oh, <laughs> this shit's so gross, I can't stop. The fact <laughs> that I picked it up, and it's... None of it stuck to my facial hair... <laughs> Is just a shocking reminder as to how it sits in your body. <laughs> it's like gum; it just sits in the intestines for like six years. I should probably get the mic off my legs. Yeah, well, whatever. I put it there so it was more in an equal spot, yeah. in the center yeah. spot. I don't know if it's shaking when I'm laughing. I don't know. Let's everybody be quiet. No laugh. I don't care. <laughs> okay, I don't know. But yeah, no, I, I can't think of anything I really hate. Uh, like, like I hate, but I can't say I actually like hate. Except Coke. Fuck Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Coke's pretty shitty. Uh, the drink Coke or this Coke? The drink. You don't inject Coke yet. <clears throat> <laughs> Some well, people actually, inject it in their genitals, and then what? they die. I'm just Come saying, on, if anyone on. goes Here's there, my, my question. Why do you know that? Oh, 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 I've had some things in the past, Reddit. okay? Reddit. <laughs> Reddit T-I-L. Well, Today I learned. Oh. No. So I'm just going to say, if anyone comes near my junks with a needle, doctor or no, <laughs> we're having issues. That's just... <laughs> but what about your vasectomy tomorrow? That, we can deal with that tomorrow. <laughs> what about your penis reduction surgery? Well, I, I don't know. I'm thinking about forgoing that one. <laughs> but Plus, that's not a needle. That's just a knife. That's just, I, I, just... I'm, I'm more comfortable with a knife than a fucking needle. <laughs> God, take this away from me! <laughs> Jesus you give it to me. Okay, no, for... don't give it to him. <laughs> no. Why? For reference, Why you give it both to him? Max and Scott have been eating the squeeze cheese for like the and, last hour. And <laughs> M&M's. I took, them, I took the M&M's, M&M's away from Max oh, a little while ago. Speaking about squeeze, squeeze cheese, cheese Max had an amazing right. idea. Sorry. So we were talking about... Um, nope. I, no! I made this null and void, but go ahead and say it. <laughs> we, were, we were discussing... Uh, uh, hold more... on, hold on, hold on. Before you say this... Why are you going over there? Because I didn't say it. It's not like he's going to try. Fuck yeah. no, I'm not going to try. That is the least appealing thing I've ever <laughs> said. Anywho, basically, Max, no, I've said worse. Max thought of using a, a string cheese like from the can, fucking uh, cheese. can cheese as a loop. 
And it, like on the one hand, my you feet, said the thing that spurred the idea. I no, I did. You said squeeze cheese moist cunt panties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. In Scott's defense, that wasn't what he said. In Scott's defense, Scott said panties on a moist cunt to annoy Sammy. <laughs> And then we were eating squeeze cheese. Although, for those keeping your points at home, it's moist. Moist. <laughs> Wait, no, it's panties. I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, so never do that. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. Never. It never brings what you're in. No, I disagree. Uh, you can bring food into the bedroom. Just don't. Just don't, don't bring. Not, not candy. Don't cheese. bring not sexy. aerosols. Se- whipped cream. Whipped cream. Well. Sexy foods I mean, like whipped play, cream don't, and strawberries and sex steak. Stuff. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> raw <laughs> steak. Let's just keep this on record. I'm sitting across the room steak. now. <laughs> she is. She like, is that what you do, Scott? So you do a naughty style possible. and you just have a plated steak on her back? Yeah, you, do, you, you, you get the knife and fork, you get it to a nice like medium rare beforehand. No, 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 no. It has, has to be almost raw. Like a good veterinarian can bring this Okay, let's put it this life. way. My, my my opinion of eating a steak is you turn on the oven and you leave it near it. Yeah. But yeah, you get this and you get the plate and everything and you're going at it and you have a nice steak while you're going to that. On that note, I have a friend and I swear to God this is a true story. My friend uh, Chris Benji, God of Parties. Shout out. I love you. Uh, he is. He has told me a story where he was having a sex with a woman from behind. Of sex? He was having a <laughs> sex with a woman, and he was playing guitar to set the move. <laughs> oh, <again. laughs> that, actually, I do have to say, that is really impressive. Uh, is that, it not? That's I really impressive. Have I, I, I have to admit that, yes. That um, whole situation would be ruined if it was a banjo. Uh, I feel like we need to test this deliverance. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just think of, you got a party mouth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. That's what I was looking at too. For the steak thing, I think I'd be okay with that if I got to eat the steak too. Yeah, no, you share it. Come on, <laughs> I, think it, I, not I, I feel like I'd be okay <laughs> with that. not to. Uh, uh, sorry, I picked that's up another Scott's subject. story knives and they fell out. Erotic <laughs> foods. Uh, so the mean. obvious ones like strawberries and whipped cream. Are we going to full fledged like dick cake? <laughs> <laughs> I've okay. seen dick cakes. They're pretty. They're I've bought dick cakes. I love yeah. that episode of How I Met Your Mother. Can I? Would you mind if I took a nibble of your brother's penis? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a that's one of the best lines ever. Oh, oh, which brings up our conversation at work. Our favorite lines from horrible movies. Like, yes, but, one of them is a commercial from the eighties. Yeah. So the, there's uh, the PSA that everybody knows. So the first one is. They're eating her, and then they're going to eat me. Oh, oh my god. god! From the classic Trolls. And then there's... Or is that Trolls? No, it's Okay, I'll be the dad. Where did you get this? Where did you learn to get this? I learned it from watching you, okay? <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to yell as well. And then uh, my favorite. there's... If you die in the game, you die for real! You know what? I'm standing by it. That was a good premise for a movie. <laughs> a good premise! <laughs> it was badly executed in every it way. It had shape Frankie form. Muniz, though. There, it did. How many movies were there like that? There was Gamer, there was Game Over. There was Stay Alive. There was Stay Alive. Which, which is, is the where the one came from. that line came yeah. from. Yeah. Um, Sword Art Online is a TV show about yeah, that. Yeah, that's an anime. Yeah, that one's really well done. I'm yeah. not going to lie. If they had that like technology, that I would be plugged in right now. You guys would never see me again. I mean, it's really well done until the second half of the first season. <laughs> yeah, but then yeah. it's like apparently... But the first half of the second shot. season's really good, too. Mm-hmm. Gee, fucking... I haven't actually seen the second season. The yet. second they start using he, like, guns. He, like, they, they go to a they different game. They turn into like freaking fairies. Yeah. And, and then, the second. No, that's yeah, the first. That's season. the that's the second half of the first. Season. Yeah. yeah second, the, and then, the first and half. Then, of the second, and then they like rape her. Oh my god. Yeah, it's they fucked don't up. finish. I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't turn. It doesn't turn. It's still it's rape. It's a full fledged hentai. This is what it gets rape. <laughs> it gets close for a second. He like starts stripping off her clothes in the middle of the thing. Yeah, but he gets stopped. I mean, By the good guy. It's not like the good guy's raping someone. Legend of the Legendary Heroes has a rape scene, but they actually use it. They don't actually show anything. Damn it, stop distracting me. Okay, so yeah, the movie lines. That. The greatest line from any movie, I'm going to butcher it because I always mess it up. It's from The Happening by M. Night Shalam Lam and Ding Dong. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, it's when uh, the main character in Zoe Do Chanel on Friday. It's Mar- Mar- uh, Mark, and, uh, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, right? and he's straight up just like, uh, well, sometimes I'd go to the <laughs> grocery store. And I go into the pharmacy to look at cough syrups. And one time a girl asked if I was going to get it. And I did. And it was a totally superfluous bottle of cough syrup. 
It was like five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the worst, best line ever. My favorite Such Mark Wahlberg line is. It, it, I don't know if it's it's either from Boogie Nights or from How Many. I don't remember. Um, it's when he's talking to this one lady, and she's going she's going crazy about something, and he's just like, "What? Oh no!" <laughs> It's just, it's just the greatest fucking word. I, I don't know if you guys have seen The Room. but You mean the greatest movie of all time? Favorite line from that. I have two favorite lines, and he says one of them a shit ton, and that's, go well, ahead, Danny. Because <laughs> he butchers the guy's name every Tell fucking time. So. Yeah, so and, then, tell me what is that. and then, you motherfucker. It just comes out of fucking nowhere, too. Best movie ever. The guy's, like, talking to his wife, and he's like, You motherfucker! I'm, ju- I'm just gonna say, guys, if you thought Sharknado... It's an You thought Sharknado was a masterpiece, go watch The Room. Tommy Wiseau has a school in California for acting. I wanna go. <laughs> I wanna go so bad. Um, what was uh, another thing terrible. from that movie? Oh, yeah, in the first 40 minutes, there is six and a half sex scenes. So don't watch it with your mom. Yeah. Unless you're into that kind of thing, I can't judge. But literally, I think they just filmed, like, two different sex scenes. And just cut and cut and, yeah. yeah. One of them was, I count the half one as the guy who, uh... You count one? The, what? This guy, they were making out on these people's couches. They don't live there. They like, vaguely know the people from what I got from the movie. Have and they're making out, on, out. Have you ever made out on a strange couch? Yes. <laughs> it's pretty great. It but, is, kind of. But and then the guy just sits up and holds his arms up like a fucking toddler and has this really innocent look in his face for her to take his shirt off. Like he just like like lifts his arms up. <laughs> well, just go watch it. For the, yeah. for the, I'm gonna lay this as a record. Don't as go a record? see yes. Like, don't dropping the beat? No. Don't go see a Movie that has a lot of sex scenes in it with your boyfriend and his parents. I disagree. Do that. See how close you are. Um, it uh, it is always it is always See. especially if you carpool. There's always an awkward ride home. <laughs> well then, that's the challenge. Yeah. How awkward can you make it and not make them hate you? See, here's I I feel I have like a. I'll say thing. that it wasn't me because I don't have my mom here. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna throw out like. Yeah. You guys must have, like, weird related, like, parents. Like, I fucking... I could walk home and be like, Hey, Dad, you checking out porn? And you'd be like, yep. And I'd be like, okay. Like, you fucking well, so worried okay. about it. It's, it's not that. My, my mom is probably a little bit too interested in my sex Thanks life. Like, God. she asks me in detail. It, shit like that. It, it's a, see, but, my mom doesn't want details, but she is at the point where she is like, when, are you, when am I going to have grandbabies? Oh, she tells me that all the time. And she like, told me that when I was like 17. I'm like, what the fuck have you yeah. seen me in a long-term relationship where I'm not? it's not a crazy bitch? Your mom, <laughs> you really want that? Please don't tell your mom details about ours. Because no. she saw the hint of a hickey on your neck once and gave me this look. She's also seen several and bite was, marks. So. Yeah. It, also, it was not the look of... Gentle. It was only <laughs> marks. Come on, man. It was not the look of "I'm going to kill you." It was the look of, oh, <laughs> oh. It yeah. was like, ooh. For record, it, it, it was the uh, old George K. Is it for the record that oh that, that was not a hickey that she saw? <laughs> <laughs> that was not a hickey that she saw. So the bite marks are not on purpose. That dog. <laughs> What are you, a fucking werewolf? You get into it and you just can't stop? Where is it? Is it still fucking there? It is. She fucking bit me to the bone. That was a couple okay. of days ago. Oh. Um, yeah. um, I bit people to the bone, but it's never friendly. She got it and it like got like that. So it I, I bit people bones. to the bone, but it's usually oh, after they're dead. People are delicious. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it out there. I t- they taste like pork. I mean, allegedly. They taste like pork. <laughs> well, that's, 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 that must suck, because Max doesn't like pork. Nope. <laughs> I also don't bite hard enough to break skin. But you only no. dislike pork because it makes you feel bad, so if we mm-hmm. fed you people, it would be okay. <laughs> and then uh, he contacted, contracted Kuru. <laughs> you just can't eat the brain. Come on. <laughs> um... Plus, dude, you just gotta take the joints and you pop right through it. Like, <laughs> for any of you who don't know, I work in a meat shop, so me knowing these things isn't as bad as if I didn't. <laughs> Anything weird I say about 
Was that game taste of human flesh or bones or anything? It's because I obsessively yeah. watched the show Bones for a long time. Can I water? <laughs> Wash down some of that cheese. And they had a whole cannibal <laughs> section, and the guys, one of the cannibal guys said that the face tastes the best. No, the cheeks were the best part. Everyone knows that. Yeah, same with the pig. Um, and halibut. Oh and beef. God, you can charge so much for halibut cheeks. It's stupid. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Uh, sorry, anyway, got off subject. Let's go. Let's go to another topic. Uh, movies we're excited for. I am excited for the new Mad Max. We I, already uh, went over this, babe. Oh, we did. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Uh, Star Wars. Oh fuck, fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah. Dude, Harrison if, Ford. If we don't midnight release this, I'm gonna be upset with you guys. Like I have yeah. work that day, and I'm still midnight releasing this shit. What, what does when does that come out? December eighteenth, right? December eighteenth. If it's Thursday a Friday, night. I can go. Thursday night, December eighteenth. As long as it's not a oh, Tuesday afternoon. It's a Thursday night. Okay. Uh, Fridays aren't too heavy. We can always request that Friday off like way ahead of time, too. See, mine's a blackout date. I'm at the uh, point yeah. where if I can't go, I'm calling out. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sick that day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting the um, lung. <laughs> Speaking of movies, we were exciting about Zoolander 2. Oh, yeah. I, I read oh, my like, God, <laughs> yes. I am... I'm going to go on the opposite side of the spectrum. I'm pissed off about Paul Blart getting another movie. I love uh, that. You're not a fan of Mall Cop, the greatest cinema masterpiece after The Room? <laughs> <laughs> Is that before or after Birdemic? <laughs> oh, Birdemic's up there, but I think The Room tops it. Yeah, it, it does. My, my favorite line but... from Birdemic is, you're going to sell me some gas. <laughs> yes. but he, he's like, like has them at gunpoint. And he's oh. like, you're going to sell me some gas. So I'm just, I'm just wondering, what are some of your guys' movies' guilty pleasures? Like they're bad movies, but you love them anyway. Um, um either I, honestly, Star I don't Wars think Episode One bad. or um, actually, I like Star Wars Episode One for Liam Neeson. Yeah, uh, I might have to say like the Hot Shot series. Those are pretty good. Yeah, um, I, I think those are good, like. On, like, they, good comedy staple movies, though. I don't... I, I mean, they're I, good comedy staple movies, but they're terrible movies in general. I... That or Toxic Avenger. The Toxic I, Avenger I, movies. I think I, oh, my God, I've been meaning to watch that. I... I watched all six. Oh, no, there's seven. Guys, I, I need right? to watch uh, Jack Frost, that horror movie. I think... My, you mean uh, the one that is at literally a sequel to the Disney movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? The one... Yeah, no, there's Jack Frost where it's like, like the Happy Snowman. They're, the actual sequel is a horror movie. Really? Yes. Yeah. But no, um, a movie I like, and it might be just nostalgia, I don't know, Batman or Robin. Oh, no, I, well, With, yeah. uh, wait, Arnold wait. Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. Yes. yes. Wait, what, was that the one with the bat nipples? Bat nipples, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen any so, of the new Batman movies. What? I just, I'm not a huge fan fantastic. of Batman. I like Adam West Batman. I fucking when love watching When you see those, those movies, you have my permission to judge them. Um, I just, I don't know. I uh, I went I was excited to go see them and then I saw like everybody being like Batman's the coolest guy ever he can kill anybody no he can't Batman doesn't kill but he can incapacitate everybody yeah <laughs> like I don't know I just that's what got me is everybody freaking loved it and then I was like it's gonna be like the Jerusalem cafe it would be overhyped and that's I how I feel about Firefly yeah <gasps> I love Firefly that's why I don't like it. Because I get that reaction anytime I mention it in a room of at least two nerds, if I'm the other one. <laughs> and because I literally heard how great it was for like six years. I actually named my car Serenity after the spaceship. I watched it and I went, this is okay. It, the only reason to watch it is the engineer, Kaylee. Only reason. I've great. actually been told I'm like her, but I anyway, love, uh, her, one of her favorite Captain. lines from her is, yeah. Yes sir, Captain Tight Pants. Yeah, that's the yeah. only reason to watch it. I love it. Nathan Fillion in that show. Well, so, there's uh, Anara too. Eh, no, no, Kaylee, it's something about her. I, no. Um, like one it. movie I don't know if it's bad because I've never gotten anybody else's opinion, but I love the movie Gladiator with Russell Crowe. No, it's a good movie. Yeah, I, th- I think okay. it, I think it's considered a good movie. I, it uh, it I did get, win a few Academy Awards. I get bored. I I I'm love it like, so much. I'm done. Woo! It's yeah. got such a good villain, like the guy who plays the prince. That guy, that's that's a, fucking mm-hmm. awesome. Um, that's Joaquin Phoenix. That's okay. who's going to who's. Written on as who's going to play Doctor Strange. Chris said the name Joaquin Phoenix. You thought a black guy didn't get racist. I thought a black guy, and then I thought a woman. Because it does not sound like a white guy name. Joaquin's totally a white guy. Oh, bad movie that I like. 
I just saw Chappie. Yeah. Is that a bad? Oh, oh, is that a bad oh, if you ruin anything, I'll break your fucking it's legs. It's got parts. Um, it's got good parts, but it, all in all, it's bad. Here's my thing. I think it's hey, Russell Crowe that hey, plays you, the villain. You, you want to see? You want to see it at three dollar theater? Yeah, I do too. I yeah. wouldn't mind yeah. seeing no, it again. Here's just my thing. It's bad. I have a weird argument about Chappie, which is going to sound like a really weird argument of why I like it. But uh, Ninja and Yolandi in the movie. I don't know if they're called yeah. Ninja and Yolandi. They're the fucking rappers. The, the yeah. fucking two people they live with, yeah. Chappie lives with. Mm-hmm. That's an actual music group, and I've been it listening is. to that. Oh, yeah, I saw like, that their freaking, and, and their uh, fucking uh, Go Ninja, Go Ninja annoys the shit out of me. I saw the music video, uh, and they have a progerium. A lot of, a, like, legitimately, a lot of these songs, like, around their house, that is... That's uh, her music. That's their music, yeah. And, like, where, <laughs> where they're hanging out is in a lot of their music videos. It's like, they were really, like, fucking in that, and I love that bit. Don't ask me why. It's my, all South Africa. My South African rave rap. Well, um, get it going. But well, no my comes, favorite part, it's Africa, not it? a spoiler whatsoever, but like... Um, I hear the bad guy has such a thick accent, you literally have to like... Huge accent. No, that's mind. Elysium. No, I, I hear I hear the same thing in Chappie, though. Like, he, um, it's a really thick well, South African... I think it's Russell Crowe. He doesn't have much no, of an he, accent. Well, Hugh Jackman's in it. Hugh Jackman. And that might have been Hugh Jackman. Yeah. I'm I don't know, sure but Hugh like... He, the guy works in a cubicle guy. and he had a fucking pistol, so for like the first 40 yes. minutes of the movie I was like, why does he have a fucking gun? He's working in a cubicle. And then he made the overkill robot with the jaws of life that rip people in half. He literally... He was like trying to sell it to like police and emergency forces and it's this fucking like Metal Gear thing with like a machine gun and missile pods and like a nice. jaws of life that he used to rip someone in half. So basically we're saying we need to go see Chappie. Yeah. Um, okay. But my favorite part was uh, they told Chappie that he didn't like guns because they killed people and killing people was a crime. So he said, uh, you just stick this in them and they'll go to sleep. And it was a knife. <laughs> And at Wait, one Chappie point, says that? No, someone else says Nin- it to Chappie. Is it Ninja? Yeah. Oh, I fucking Ninja love and Ninja. America. America. He's a Hispanic guy. You'll recognize him okay. when you see him. But okay. he throws a ninja star in a cop's leg and just is running back and forth from a bank truck. And he points at him and goes like, "Go to sleep. Go to fucking sleep." <laughs> the guy's like on the ground trying to pull a ninja star out of his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see those movies so bad. I do too. Um, I love Elysium though because of the villain. The villain makes the goddamn movie Kruger. Yeah. If you find a scene from him, Kobe. if you find it's a so scene great. from him on YouTube and turn on their subtitles, <laughs> it does not know what the fuck to do. <laughs> At one point, Never. he said, <clears throat> "Kill them all. Just kill them all." And the YouTube subtitles picked it up as "Get me some fucking yogurt." <laughs> and then yeah. he talked for two minutes, and the subtitles had no idea what to do, so it just didn't. <laughs> it just gave up. The, <laughs> Charlotte Copley is so great, but there were parts in uh, District Nine where his accent was so thick that it was very hard to understand as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's the whole goddamn movie. Uh, the yeah. only thing you understand is "Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Just shut the fuck up!" <laughs> yeah. Um, I do love Scott, how he was though. roasting pork on a katana, though. Yeah, that's great. Scott, though, um, have you seen the PlayStation thing, uh, the TV series Powers? No. Charlotte Copley is the main guy in it. It's actually pretty good. I mean, why? Because I'm lazy. Yeah. Uh, I can, I can, I can only do so many things, and like, I've been, pl- I've been, uh, I've been uh, playing some Star Wars lately. Yeah. Really, uh, and happy 5th, everybody. Get, get yeah. ready. Yeah. Revenge of the 5th. Oh, yeah, this is uh, being recorded on May 5th, guys, to date it. Yeah. Also, uh, we got to date it. Because, <laughs> I mean, you just said happy 5th. I didn't say what month. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be like, uh, it's going to be May, May 5th of next year. Yeah. Come and on. that's when this is going to get posted. Yeah. So, um,. Uh, Excited for Battlefront, right? Oh, fuck yeah. I was, but I've heard some things that I'm upset about. I know. And, like, they've taken out space combat. Yeah. They put the ships on the ground combat. And there's only, like, the two factions. It's not like the old one where it was, like, yeah. the CIA. And I love playing as the droids, man. The droids are cool. Not as many heroes. So I'm, I don't know. I'm not as excited as I was. Yeah. yeah. There, but, I mean, it is, a, it is a separate studio making it. And it is... Their yeah, first it's, iteration it's, of a Battlefront you're series. You're right, it's the devil making it, so why should we want to be excited? That's true. Um, I mean, I mean, it is, it is, a, it is, 
It's basically an iteration of a. It's basically using the name of Battlefront to create its own game. Yeah, we should play Which some Battlefront. Too might when not I get my computer working again. I I, I don't know. Yep, I do too. Um, anyway, should we move on to another topic? Sure. Um, um, how yeah, about really... Scott's mysterious roll sheet? Oh, you you were really curious about that, aren't you? Yeah, I, I am too. Well. Basically, uh, back where, down in Arizona, I used to have a lot of bonfires because I lived out in the county. And it got to the point where we started to have to instigate a couple of rolls. I think there were seven. There were six in total, but we skipped six and went straight to seven. I can't remember all of them for the life of me. Like, it just, some of them just, I, they, they became so not important as the time went on. Uh, one of them that still stands clear is, uh, I had a friend named Pilger. I think I mentioned her a couple times in videos. Uh, Pilger can't do that. But we can't remember what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just an overall roll. We can't do that. We can just pull it out whenever. Uh, the reason I brought it up earlier is uh, in my domicile, in my home, in my place, if I'm not getting any, nobody's getting any. I don't care if you're married for 50-some-odd years. I will cock block anyway because I can because it's my house. Let me see. Okay, two. God, and then, yeah, uh, I'm, I know I'm going to get some shit later from some friends of mine who have memorized better than I do. But it, it, simple rules like that. Number seven is my favorite, though, uh, because I was going to make a guillotine. Rule number seven was don't touch the guillotine, which was punishable by guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just a basic list of rules. Actually, uh, when I moved up here the first time, because I've moved up like three times now, they, uh, my friends made it for me in a really fancy script on, like, parchment. So I can hang it up. So it's, 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 it's around here. So. When you say guillotine, I um, originally imagined just, like, a really rusty blade. I was like, why would you do that? I was like, wait, it wouldn't matter. It's a guillotine. Yeah. You're going to be worried about them getting tetanus when you cut their head off? <laughs> no. But, dude, I've built a trebuchet. Well, a guillotine can't be much more difficult. Just a string with a big blade on it. Yeah. I was going to build the Also, I'm The hardest part is finding out where the head shots. lands. <laughs> Uh, yeah, tennis I'm, sucks. I am super glad that I that I've had all my tennis shots. <laughs> I have like, not. <laughs> you should. You should probably get that taken care of. I haven't either. Where we work, you sh you fucking need to. Yeah, yeah, you probably should. I mean, I I cut my arm pro. I mean, I scraped and scratched and like like my arm. This is all from fucking the day. I think. Oh, I do that. I do that too. Yeah. Um. um but the yeah. part of the belt that I had to work today. I, we work at a package handling facility. Um, I literally got probably 4,000 packages in the course of an hour. Oh, yeah, fucking Salem. Yeah. Hey, fucking I need Salem to start ordering more stuff from Amazon to fuck with you guys. <laughs> yeah, spend your money. I actually want to I actually want to have an entire box of paintball pellets shipped through there. Because you drop that and that shit's going to get oh. everywhere. I haven't paintballed in years. Um, so I got to do this do weekend. Do it through Amazon Prime. More likely than not, it's going to come through a facility. Yeah. We're also, they're going to pull up like a 52-foot truck and we're going to look at it and it's going to be fucking floor-to-ceiling, brick-loaded. Just tiny Amazon packages. Yeah, for me. All of them. <laughs> oh my god, that that would be roughly 4,700 packages. You guys show up and be like, Scott, what'd you buy? And be like, I bought packing peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Literally you buy, now. You buy ping pong balls, one in each box. Wait. Just one. How how ironic, how just magnificently poetically ironic would it be to buy packing peanuts, have them shipped, and have them be, uh... In the styrofoam block? No, not even in the styrofoam block. And the thing that replaced packing peanuts in those little plastic bags. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to say if every single one of them broke. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be phenomenal, too. Um, I would love to see just, like, someone get something delivered and it's one of those foam cases that you keep firearms in and you open it up and it's just, like, a single packing peanut in the middle of a big suitcase <laughs> with, like, the part of the foam cut out for it and everything. It'd be awesome. <laughs> okay, so we go on to another yeah. topic? But or... Before that, okay. we we get a lot of vinegar shipped through a facility. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. But vinegar and it... some maple syrupy stuff that smells like beef jerky. That, yeah, that's it. But... <laughs> Almost without fail, at least once a week, whether it's in the truck or it happens on the belt when it's being unloaded, it 
But one of those fuckers just breaks open and shit gets doused in vinegar, and the entire facility smells like vinegar. So if I ever get anything smelling of vinegar, I'm gonna blame you guys. Sure. And like I'll give a once shit. every other blame month. some fucker in Reno. Once every other month, we get like a thing of wood glue that breaks, and it's usually in the middle of everything. Yeah. Oh my god. That's so dumb, though. Um. You just come to fucking Wyoming. Too. Do you want to tell them about the spider, or should I? Oh god. Well, spiders are everywhere in our facility, and I'm a fucking arachnophobic. To the nth degree, I will fucking jump out of my pants if there's a spider in my room. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, Don't look behind you. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um, so Max and I were sorting some boxes, ma- going through one of the pallets. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Snapchat of someone beating their meat. <laughs> Oddly uh, enough, they were using a hoagie roll. Oh. No, it was two chicken breasts. It was two chicken oh. breasts. Because my little sister was weird. I, I was going to say beating their breasts, but... <laughs> beating their meat sounds, sounds better to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, At least two, uh, they're somewhat steady. So we were going through this pallet, making sure all the zip codes were correct. Um, Max is like, oh! And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? I look over, he points, I look over, there's this spider. It was probably like the size of like, a little bigger than a quarter. About the size of a half dollar, right? But this worked like, out, it was about almost the size of the palm of my hand. I have small hands, yeah. so... Um, to me, it was like the size of, of, of a fucking... It was like the size of a puppy dog. I don't know. I fucking, like, threw a box at that shit. I didn't give a shit whose package I broke. I didn't care. And then when it was, like, twitching on the ground, I jumped over, like, a, like five packages and stomped on it. I, I don't fuck around with spiders. That's like the, 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 Iraq, the, uh, the spider chart on Facebook. Yeah. You know, it has a picture of a thing. It says, yeah. burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Kill it fire, kill it with fire, kill it oh. fire, burn down the house. Nope, 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 nope. Douse the earth. Speaking, Douse of, the earth. speaking of spiders and horror, uh, for all of you watching at home, we have this overlay of a Binding of Isaac a couple of runs. Uh, at the 25 minute mark, I take over, just so you know who's kicking I ass. Actually, it was at the, the, the 21 20, 20, 20, minute 20, mark. 20, 20. Anywho, after that point, it's me. But um, the reason we're, one of the reasons we're doing this over that is we had an accident and <laughs> lost all our audio. Yeah, that's true. For a lot of our recordings, which is why we barely put anything out in the past couple of weeks. But Once. Just, just thought you'd like to know what you're looking at. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It is weird that we haven't uh, said anything about that. I, I, the spiders made me think, and I thought I'd. Oh uh, yeah. That, so what? What else? What else we got? One, um, because I have to leave soon. I want to go through the really good ones. Panties. So <laughs> well, no. We're we'll ending this podcast in the next like ten minutes anyway. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's do it. Let's let's talk about erections because that one's fun. that sounds funny for you guys. I'm probably okay. not going to chime um, in. And I don't I do, know why it's funny. Be... They're everywhere. Uh, just uh, you guys came up with this. The, topic. Word, the word sounds funny to me. Erection. I I just think of like. When you're 10 or 11 and you get your first boner and you're like, what the fuck do I do with this? And then you just... I figured that one out quickly, let me tell you. (laughs) You experiment and you rub it on things and then you eventually discover your right hand. (laughs) Or left. Or left. Or judge. Or somebody else's hand, I mean. Or, yeah. Well, that one... I said that was that blame Scott on that one. Did you ever, uh... I don't know why people listen to me anymore. You guys know of the, uh... You guys know of the magic that is Ninja Sex Party and No no Reason Boner, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I love me some Danny Sex Bag in the morning. I don't the only know the thing first that gets one, me going. But... Ninja Sex Party is the band. Oh. No Reason Boner is the name of the song. Yeah. Oh. Um, and okay. it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite songs by them. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't heard them, look them up on YouTube. They're fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Comedy band. But, but yeah, yeah, so I'm, d- I'm just going to lay it out there. Erections are great. Usually. No, uh, I mean, Always. But I, I mean, yeah. you, you guys are like skirting around it like you're ashamed. That just reminds me of the oh, thing but... you see on like fucking like reasons why guys masturbate. Well, I was scratching my balls and it just happened. <laughs> it's just like that. It's just boom. I was like that for an obnoxious <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> to this day, actually, we had to t- tie him down for a couple minutes to let him simmer out. But <laughs> we, had, we had to put his hands in sandpaper. 
<laughs> didn't stop him. It didn't stop him. <laughs> yeah, I saw a quarter of a side boob. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Oddly enough, it was my side move. That's yeah. the worst part. <laughs> if Is I don't see so? anything else, I can I can use my imagination. Fill in the blanks. <laughs> hey, the biggest sex organ in the body, the brain. Yeah. yeah. And that's why the praying mantis have that's another just, brain in their dick. That's just because you haven't had Fisto Robato. <laughs> <laughs> You always made me throw up at him. <laughs> yes! He's learned to love. <laughs> God damn it, I love Archer so much. I think we all do. Oh, well, Krieger's the best. Yeah. Oh, Alright, what's after erection? Usually sleep, but. This <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just love. All the guys are like, yeah, you sleep afterwards. And the, the one female in the room is like, what are you talking about? What about. What about cuddling? You can do both. Yeah, or you or you sit there and cuddle and then you fall asleep because I literally just fell starts, asleep and earlier just start today. snoring. I was <laughs> I wasn't tired whatsoever, and I swear to God, I blinked and it was a half an hour later, and I woke up just as hyper as I was when I fell asleep. <laughs> so it was, it was just like a fucking like. <laughs> on the note of like that, I have a buddy where I swear to God, I have seen him with two human, really shitty game, good premise, shitty game, but he was playing it, and I swear to God, he'd been playing for like 16 hours because he wanted to go once a and he goes like this, and he falls asleep, but he keeps playing. <laughs> like, to the point where he is going through the levels and continue, but he just... You know why he wanted to do it in one sitting? Because he if never ever... wanted to go back. Yeah, if he, if he took that disc out, it was never going back in the console. Like... What was the game? Too human? Too human. It's I don't know that game. A lot of problems cool. really should be... The, yeah. The only negative of dying was you had to sit through like a 30 second cutscene. Every. Single. Time. I find the Borderlands death cutscene to take a while sometimes. It kinda does. But yeah, it's kinda sometimes. cool. I mean, if you die over and over again, it does feel like Well, that. Max, you know, you know a good, uh, good way to stop that? Creed. Stop sucking. <laughs> no. I, I can't play any other character. I play Krieg, and then I'm like, I need to go get hurt. And yeah. then I'm playing Axton, and then I'm like, I need to stop getting hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I love playing as Gabe. I love Gabe Cause, so much. Because I, I don't use Death Trap until I'm like, my shield's depleted, I'm low on health, and then I bring Death Trap out, and then I go hide, and then I reload, and I gain health back. Mm-hmm. Death trap will will heal you and mm-hmm. bring up your shield again. Yeah. I like I have my death trap set to where I can shoot him with different yeah. Uh, elements. Yeah, I've almost, go I've almost got that. Uh, you guys are too impersonal. Upgrade. You gotta strip the flesh and salt the wounds. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. You have wait. to make them your new meat icicle. Ah, uh, meat. But how is that not a sex term, by the way, for like a three way? <laughs> well, because bicycle. Is, is two. Someone has to I, I do it, plan on doing a Krieg uh, cosplay soon, so I need to start like I'm trying to coming up with terms. I think I may have the voice down a bit. Riding the tandem bike. How is that not a term for a three-way? I don't know. Bookends is. <laughs> the old spit roast. Yep. Uh... <laughs> I learned this from a game that our gay friend wanted to play. Can, 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 can I say I love how it's mine that makes all the groans happen? Also, it was a uh, it was a game on iPhone. Yep. Yeah. Spin Not all yeah. of them, for the record. Well, bookends too. Because they they missed they missed the one the the lube one from Max that made me <laughs> yell and go across. See, the but room. that's because I know how to get right up to that point, but not make people freak out. Yeah. Oh um, no. You, you, mm. On that note, would sharp cheddar be better than the bacon flavor for lube? <laughs> I don't know. Did you just think about it? <laughs> I'm legitimately thinking that bacon makes me sick and it might absorb through me and make me sick. That was my legitimate thought. There was nothing sexual going on in my head. I'm saying that I'm wondering if I would absorb the bacon through my penis and get sick. I think I win all the theoretical points today. <laughs> Max, I'm sorry. Uh, we need Scott to, wins we need the theoretical to, we need to, win. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I love you. No. <laughs> um, God. <laughs> um, just saying, they make different types of lubes. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I know. Yeah, that's gross. Does it yeah. sound delicious? Like, that just makes it, me think of like gross. when you leave the bacon in the pan and it gets all confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> 
Delicious, but gross. On a completely different... Uh, not on a completely different note, I... My friends post weird Please shit Please tell me it's Facebook. congealed, but not bacon. No. <laughs> um, okay. Da, da, da. They, my friends post weird shit on Facebook, and one of them was, like, rules of pornos. One of them was that if you use anal beads... <laughs> an unspoken rule is that when you take them out, you have to go, and the lucky number is... You also have to go slow. Because if you go quick, you'll make it a mess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, and you can anyway. also rip your colon. Yeah. Well, who cares about that? I don't want to clean up shit. <laughs> <laughs> do you not want to clean up shit? Or do you not want to clean up shit and blood? Whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's go to a new topic. You know, I've had hemorrhoids. Those aren't fun. No. Spermenther? I didn't think that that's what you were I thought I was going to say I'm trying <laughs> anal <beads. laughs> No! <laughs> Fuck no. I am the least... I was about to say the I was about to say the least sexually exploring person, but I'd say that's probably Chris and How do you know his life? Scott is yeah, probably on the high end of, <laughs> of So we're okay, if we're, what gonna, is a, if we're gonna rate each other on this what let's, is, let's, let's, let's go ahead and make an official rating on this uh, then. Wait, wait, is oh. one good or bad? Because if I'm the highest you am I number one? You're like, I, I, probably, I don't know. So, I feel like since you, since you threw that out there. So, here's the question. Let's do a rating. That, no, technically you just did. You say he's the least and you're not very, which means she's second and I'm first. I don't know. I, That's. But let's, I'm raise willing hand. I, to try whatever she's willing to raise try. Raise I, I want to just say I love the immediate regret in Max's face. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. As soon as I point that, just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's pretty. It's pretty simple. Who, who here? Who here? Uh, not afraid of bondage. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I am afraid. I don't. I don't know. Okay, so you're you're the least. Yeah. Because bondage is basic. Well, I don't. Basic, I'd be oh, fine no, with handcuffed. Does. I'm not okay with being tied with a fucking weird ass rope. And oh, are you kidding? Being you get hit. tied up, and then she just gets your hand around her throat as she's riding. She squeezes. And squeezes no, so you that's can not breathe. okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. <laughs> there's other things too. That's actually bondage isn't actually bondage. Basic, all that basic, but um, well, there's other stuff. Well, I, I just realized someday my mom might hear this. <laughs> <laughs> bondage, I think I'm okay with BDSM. No, it's all about trust. Yeah. yeah. I don't like to be hurt. It's yeah, just... Yeah. But Max, she... you've been a bad boy. <laughs> that doesn't help whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> like, for me, if I Call get me hurt... Call me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping you on this one. If I get hurt, I'm actually just... I'm just an observer <laughs> at this point. I said, you, you started this one. Being hurt is not an interest of mine. It just... I've left the know. bedroom looking like someone went at me with a rake before. <laughs> Still is oh, he. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I clip my nails. <laughs> yeah. It, it was pretty bad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I guess I, yeah, I'm definitely the top. So does that mean I'm I'm, I'm second? I think you're number okay. two. I don't know. I don't know Chris's limits. You're a quiet guy. For Chris, all we know, one, you could be the Chris, worst. One finger. Just boop. <laughs> uh, a little tickle. I. I'd rather not, but if it happens, it happens. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, for me, so, I'd go, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. So, no, so no. for the record, it is Scott, me, I'm going to say Chris, and then Max. <laughs> yeah, well, the... okay. I'm experimental, but I'm not like, Whoop. hey, <laughs> why don't you go grab that hammer over there and see how many toes of mine you, I, you can break before I lose an erection. And, like... <laughs> No, you see, that's a whole nother <laughs> level. That's, that's, that's I will that's say, just bodily harm. At I that have point. been flogged before. It's not that cat of nine tails. Uh, oh, I knew a girl down in Yuma. And she, like she hit me, and I was like, "Oh, that's the best gun." She riddled back and just bam. <laughs> it was a good strike. <laughs> it was a good strike. I just, I'm fine up to a point, but I don't want to be tied down to where I can't move. I would also like to point out my heads and arms were. Uh, in the stockades. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Max, you have fun sleeping Pretty tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna see that in my dreams tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember them because I don't remember. If it helps, I was mostly clothed. 
<laughs> I say mostly because I wear a kilt. So. <laughs> But yeah, no, no, nothing happened. I just got flogged. But you know, it's a good time. Uh, well, I still, I still think I look better in a skirt. Than uh, you do. Well, I Although my, my, Steven looks better in a dress than I do. My favorite. I would have to get a push up. Make my Steven doesn't need a push up. It like, actually makes me feel bad a little bit sometimes. Well, that's my because Steven favorite, like torts his fucking back and his chest more, out. Steven's Plus, he has a, a weird rib cage. Yeah, Steven, <laughs> Steven's more of a woman than I am. <laughs> Oh, Steven. Yeah. Steven actually I would much rather have an episode on the channel yet. Are you sure? No. Not one that we've been able to actually record what, what, successfully. What if we actually aired, like, Mount Your Friends, which is... Well, you was, guys did air Mount Your Friends. Oh, yeah, no, he was in Mount Your Friends. That is yeah. literally it. Of course, hey. we put out, like, two videos in a podcast, but still. Well, didn't you... Well, what was the first episode we did? We did... We did oh, an, an epic. Ep, an yeah, epic. so Steven was there for the first session, and then it's like he disappeared. For a while, because work and everything else that he fucking does, because he doesn't know his limits. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah. remember, don't get a foil or a uh, cat and nine tails. Well, he has. Yeah. He has. I have a foil, foil. but that I would corrected myself with the cat and nine tails. I was about tails. to say that would break spines. Yeah, he has a medieval foil. So yeah. do I have one of those as well. <laughs> yeah, it's not here. I used to hang the balls above my door. You touched him as he came in. Nice. I, just, I, I had a friend who, them on your face. Yeah. I, had, I had a friend who, when you first walked into their house, there was a loaded crossbow pointed at you as soon as you walked in the door. It's awesome. Yeah, they had to take it down when when uh, they had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what was that final thing we were going to talk about? Oh, um, where, horrible foods we've eaten. Favorite, just, uh, favorite mustaches, spray uh, foods, and if you could go back in time, where would you go? So pick uh, up. yeah, we're. We're just about done with the Maybe video. Maybe ten so. minutes ago, so my mom couldn't hear about some of the freaky shit I'm into. <laughs> that's also true. <laughs> It'd be nice. Just tell, just you know, <clears throat> that's, that's when before the video ends, you go, "Love you, mommy." Title of the podcast: Mom, don't listen to this episode. Pretty Please much. Please don't. Like seriously. <laughs> Although I will say, I think I, like my family were open about shit, so yeah. I think she'd just be like, "You freak," and that would be Weird. it. Like, my mom. You know what's worse is that. My mom, Your would, mom tell would give you tips my, how to do it. My mom would tell me how tame I am, <laughs> <laughs> and I've like almost. <laughs> um, yeah, let's okay. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> Anywho, maybe, maybe smart. Yeah. Not but everything yeah. needs to be on the internet. No. I disagree, but <laughs> that's an argument for another day. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a nice night and uh, fuck off. <laughs> Uh, get the fuck out. And I love you. Not wrong button. I'm having fun wearing nothing but a tube sock and a roll of duct tape.